This is Rare Farmer. Her parents named her that. Rare is a bookseller. She started selling books eight years ago in Watauga, Texas, for the most successful used bookstore chain in the U.S. She moved to Oklahoma City and eventually Berkeley, California, as a well-loved and profitable manager for Half Price Books. This is Vallejo. Rare moved to Vallejo to start a family. They love it there. Rare even moved her mom out to Vallejo. This is Rare's family. Her daughter is an avid lover of delicious books, and her husband got grounded from reading as a child when he would neglect his chores in favor of a paperback. Rare's family buys their groceries in Vallejo. They buy their gasoline in Vallejo. They get their car and bicycles repaired in Vallejo. Whenever they go out to eat, they do it in Vallejo. Rare and her family are part of a growing number of Vallejo citizens who have found Vallejo worth supporting by spending their dollars in the immediate community. As residents in the Old Town neighborhood of downtown Vallejo, Rare has seen the potential for growth. The farmer's market and holiday events such as 4th of July and other parades bring droves of Vallejo residents to the downtown area, residents who mysteriously go missing the rest of the year. The acquired space for the bookstore is in a prime location for educational outreach and could serve as a venue for literacy programs, book clubs, readings, author signings, and other events. These gatherings will enhance the downtown area by providing a safe and welcoming atmosphere. So Ben and I talked about um, what we we're going to do with the space and we decided the most beneficial thing that we could do would be to open a bookstore and we want it to serve as a venue for local artists and musicians um, and book lovers of course. Um, have some coffee and hopefully some treats from the local chocolatier and <laughs> so we just have a, a little bit of funding that's um, not covered some things that we need to do um, so we're just looking for a little bit of help with that and hopefully we'll we'll be open January 15th that's our target date so um, we would appreciate all the help that we could get